coming up on this episode of Let's Play Kotar. What is that rumbling sound? Oh boy, here's a big one! Huh? That's a huge bitch! Run! It's Godzilla! What is going on, Box Bros? It is the Box Man here in the Sand Freaking People Enclave, and welcome back to another freaking episode of Let's Play Freaking Kotar. God, I fight these sand people stink, bro. They stink. Oh, it's horrible around here, guys. It's, it's terrible. All right, well, I've been I've been just scratching my head on this, guys. I don't know how we're gonna free uh, old Jet. I don't know how we're gonna free him. So I'm gonna talk to the Sand People Chief one last time here, see if we can't. I don't know. Work something out. Probably not a good idea, but we're gonna try. He seems grateful to you, or at least less than the yeah, yeah, pocket grub seed. Yeah, real funny. Real funny, buddy. Query, what do you wish to ask of him, Master? All right. Um. Oh, I never noticed this option before. Sand people culture. Now I don't give a shit about sand people culture, but maybe if we seem like we're interested in their culture, they might warm up to us a little more, and then and then maybe they'll let them go. I don't know. Okay, I want information on the sand people culture. Tell them that. Protocol. This will be a very sensitive topic, Master. What? You will want to be careful with your questions or risk offending him. I was offended. I was offended, and I have rights. Not that that is much of a worry. Oops, well, I guess, yeah. If, wor if worse came to worse, we could just light this place up. It's true. It's true. So, yeah, why are they so hostile to outsiders? What's up with that, man? Translation. <laughs> He says that the fact that you have to ask, this is just one more example of your ignorance as an outsider, Master. What? He says you are blind. Translation, his people believe they are part of the land, living with it. You and your kind dare to raise yourself above it. Oh. You remove yourself. Oh. Translation, that act of removal makes you an outsider, separate from all that is important. You could never understand how unwelcome you are. Okay, I get, I get it. So this is like some kind of Pocahontas type shit going on around here. They're, they're all tribal, living with nature or whatever, and we're the strangers coming in. I get it, I get it. They're just being overprotective of their land and all that, right, right. Hmm. Ask him what he means by raise myself above the land. Translation. Translation. He says that outsiders use machines to convey them and to make their lives easier. This severs a connection with the land. Translation. Connection to the soil must be made through flesh. A sacred animal is the only external tool to be used. But I, but I literally see them using fucking technology all the time. Yeah, here it is right here. Well, then ask why he bargained for the vaporators then, huh? Yeah, well, think about it, hmm? You, you guys are using technology. What's that little breathing apparatus you got on right there, buddy, huh? I don't want to hear this shit. They're hypocrites. Translation. This guy's holding a freaking gun. Translation. He says that the use of these blasphemous things will only be tolerated because outsider interference has forced it upon them. What? Translation. If your kind did not come here, he would not have to defend their ways or their land. Our kind did not come here. Wait, I, I don't see how us coming here forced them to use moisture vaporators. Like, what were they doing before we came here? Was the planet just, like, not fucking a desert? That's true. Basla did say that she believes that Tatooine may not have always been a desert. Hmm. But it's not our fault it's a desert, that's just how it went. Like, sometimes planets just become deserts, I guess, right? I, well then, how the hell does he have contact with the land while he's completely fucking covered? And thank God he is, too. Translation. Translation. He says that the robes are sacred, Master, and you would not understand. 
Huh. Sand people are never uncovered outside of the most private moments. Huh. Oh god. So never? Not even on not even in death? Translation. Translation. Never. That is their way, master. Jeez. Oh, um, I better not say that. Yeah, I, I better. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, I better not say that right there. Yeah, that's a, that's a trap, boys. That's <laughs> okay. Well, um, you know, despite my hatred of them, I'm a little curious now. Like, you know, there's the, apparently they're all, you know, tribal uh, Ungway Dungway here with the land, but yet they use machines because it was forced upon them to do so. I'm actually starting to get a little interested now, so so ask him if he'll tell us a little more about the history of his clan. Translation. Translation. He says that he will not master. What? There is one storyteller in each clan, and only he may recite the history. Oh, great. Okay, well then ask if we can meet this storyteller. Translation. Translation. He says that you don't understand. They must never be told to someone who might say them incorrectly out of ignorance. Translation. To speak them in error is a blasphemy punishable by death. Oh my. Only their greatest warriors are even permitted to listen to the tales. Huh. Well, so what? I gotta prove I'm worthy? How the hell do I do that? Translation. Translation? He doesn't know, Master. What? His people usually kill outsiders, since you are an outsider yourself. That would not suffice. Uh. Translation. The greatest challenge for a warrior is to face a great dragon, the largest predator on Tatooine. What? Fight one of those, and bring back a dragon pearl. Disgust. I think he's making fun of you, Master. He doesn't believe an outsider could do such a thing. You gotta be fucking kidding. Well, apparently there's a crate dragon near where the where the star map is, where we gotta go. So maybe we could end up killing two birds with one stone here. So what the hell's a dragon pearl? Translation. Translation. Stones polished in the gullet of the beast. Apparently, they are valuable items. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Well, I already know where I could find one because he said that they'd be near the star map. And we have the map that he gave us. So, guys, it might be time. You know what? I hate to leave Jet here. I mean, we, we got a whole day. You know, they said they're going to execute him dawn tomorrow. Uh, so, let's, let's, let's go. Let's go to the star map. Yeah, let's do it. So, um, tell him farewell for now. Translation. Translation. We are free to leave. Damn straight we are. You have asked to hear the history of the Sand People, but the Chieftain has said that you're a piece of shit and he doesn't like you very much. I mean, <laughs> that you must prove your, your worth as, as a warrior. Uh, bring him a dragon pearl and he will consider it. <laughs> You yeah, just do just do one of the greatest uh you know feats in all of Tatooine. Just do that and he'll he'll think about it. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Chief. Uh, whatever guys. I think it's finally time. We're gonna we're gonna head to the star map. Um before we do that, uh, I'm gonna head back to Anchorhead and we'll talk to little Jawa because because even though we have this map, I'm gonna also get the information from our little Jawa buddy. With that combined with the map, there's no way we'll probably get lost in the desert. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, let's head back. See you guys in a few. A crate freaking dragon. Now, I, I wonder if that thing is even there, how big it is. Oh, my. Is it going to be like the Rancor? I mean, yeah, it might be like the Rancor and, and the sewers. We might just be able to blow its ass up or something. <laughs> I don't know. And apparently there's a hunter out there. And if it's who I think it is, hmm, we'll have to see. But here's old Izz's. Hey, buddy. I, I saved your little, your little friends.
Yes, your, yours has returned because of me. True. Uh, I have things to give you. Take and be welcome. Sweet, dude. Okay, uh, well, I, I, I'm looking for the star map, buddy. And I have this map here. Sam, people gave me this map, but but if you can offer even more advice, that would that would be great. He said, already, do you, you have a map of the Eastern Dunes? Follow it, and you will find what you need in the lair of the dragon. Can you tell me a little more about this dragon, man? Because a lot of people are hyping it up, and I'm, I'm getting scared, honestly. Bigger than the big machines. The Twi'lek. It's gotta be him. Well, thank you for everything, as is. I'm glad I was able to help your little Jawa people. Maybe try talking a little slower, you know? That's, that's, that's all I could say, but goodbye. We will remember when your kind are gone. Is this gave you some information about the star map? He said it may be in the eastern Dune Sea in a cavern currently occupied by a Krayt dragon. Well, there we are. So, um, okay. Now, as much as I love you two, uh, if we're gonna fight a fucking Krayt dragon, we gotta take the best of the best. So, I mean, Karth and Candrus fucking obviously, guys. I mean, <laughs> let's fucking go. Hmm? Oh, it's you again. I'll just let you pass. The boys in the office may need authorization in triplicate, but not me. Good hunting out there. Uh, good hunting indeed. All right, guys. So yeah, this is this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to we're going to go find the fucking crate dragon, the Eastern Dune Sea. Are you guys ready? I don't I don't know. Are you ready, Candorus? Yeah. Say he's ready. Your choice. Anyway, onward to the Eastern Dune Sea, boys. Let's do this. This must be the pathway right here, yeah. Now before it wouldn't let us pass, but I guess because we have the map, we knew which way to go. Hey look, a dewback! Hey, you see these guys in, uh, in episode 4! Yeah, 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 in a special edition, of course. Uh, <clears throat> so, there's plenty of them around. Whoa, what are those two dewbacks doing over there? That's right, break it up, break it up. Alright, this is a kid's game, guys. God damn. That must be it! That must be the lair of the crate Dragon. And is that him? Is that Comad? The homie? I can't believe he's out here. Yeah, that's him! He must be hunting the crate Dragon. Yo, Comad! I'm tired of waiting, Comad. How big can this dragon of yours be? I'm going in. Uh, this guy's stupid. What a goofball. Oh my god. He did. Comad, bud, hey, remember me from the lodge? I thought I would see you out here, human. We are hunters, you and I. Perhaps we should pool our skills. Pool our skills? What are you coming on to me now? I have tracked a very special beast to its lair. A great dragon rests within, and tonight he is the hunted, although by unorthodox means. I like, I like how Comad's not even phased by his partner just getting eaten alive right in front of him. Um, so now wait a second, Comad, not to, not to be cheeky or nothing, but I thought you preferred the solo hunt. That is true. But this is a very critical fight. Bull dragons are rare to see. Rarer still is the apparent size of this one. It is larger than the one my father found decades ago. And he is far out of his territory and must be dealt with. I might not prevail alone, human, but I must try. Mm, so this is a really big deal to him. And we need this crate Dragon gone if we're gonna get to the star map. So... We might as well work together then. I'll help. Give me, uh, give me a little more information about how, though. We must bait the great beast out of hiding and ambush him swiftly. 
There is no room to engage him in the lair, and his hide will repel blaster fire. His hide will repel blaster fire? Jeez. I have placed mines around the mouth of the cave. We must coax him out, but this is the end of his season of hibernation. It will take much to rouse him. The food of a beast this size is almost exclusively bantams and foolish hunters, if we are not careful. To lure him out, we must lure his food to tempt him. Okay. So wait a second. <laughs> Remember when I said we just probably blow this thing up? <laughs> you placed mines, huh, Comad? You know, that doesn't, that doesn't seem to be very sporting. That is true, and I regret it. I tracked this beast for many days and hope to face him fairly, but there are other concerns than my honor. It may seem like he is isolated, but the range of his territory extends deep into settled areas. We must kill him for the safety of others, and blasters will not do the job. We must lead the Bantas here using father like the sand people do. Their warriors may carry some, or you could search the central. The spaceport merchant also had some. I am not sure why. Yeah, it is kind of funny. I don't know why he had that Bantha fodder on him. I remember seeing it in the shop, too. If you find father and bait the Banthas here, the mines will deal with the dragon as it emerges to feed. Not exactly a glorious hunt, but it will ensure the safety of the region. Yeah, not very glorious at all, but I mean, if it's gonna get the job done, then that's what matters. So, all in all, it seems like a pretty easy task. Just lure the Banthas, that's it? What aren't you telling me, Comed? There is one added threat. The Sand People regard Banthas as sacred. Attempting to feed the herd in this area will likely lead to an attack. Oh, great. We are far from the weakened tribes around Anchorhead. The sand people of this region are strong, fierce, and will think nothing of killing you. Be careful. Alto, we're in the hood now. Unless you want to get shot, you need to stay low, be quiet, and follow me. All right. So there's a different tribe out this way that's much stronger than the Anchorhead tribe that we were just at. Great. Oh, that's just perfect. Yet more sand people. Well, I've dealt with their kind before. You likely mean the tribe that has been harassing Zerka Corporation. This group is used to the deep desert. They appear to be much more dangerous. Well, either way, we'll have to deal with them. Well, I do actually have some fodder on me, <laughs> believe it or not. I had Karth carry, you know, that's why he's been stinking so bad. So, uh, what do we do now? Oh, okay. I'll see what I can do. I wish you luck against the sand people. When you return, the dragon will fall. I wish it could be under more sporting circumstances, but but we must do what the circumstances call for. I had hoped for a mirror of my father's expedition, but that will have to wait. Sorry to hear that, Command. Command maintains that the only way to bait the crate dragon out of its lair is to tempt it with Banthas. Banthas will need to be lured into position with Bantha fodder. Some of the sand people may carry fodder, and the ba 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 yeah, I, I got the fodder, I got it, we're, we're pretty much ready. And there's a crate dragon in the cavern to the eastern dune sea. The beast will have to be dealt with if any search for the star map can be made. Well, alrighty then, um, let's do this, fellas. There's a couple Banthas out here. We better just be ready for some sand people to pop out of nowhere, I guess. Some extra powerful sand people. Alright, Bantha. The Bantha perks up as you approach, obviously attracted to the smell of the fodder you are carrying. The whole herd falls in step. Oh, here we go! Hold on to your butts. Okay, how many of them are there? Four? Four. That's not too bad. Looks like most of them have guns. In fact, I think all of them have guns. Alright, we're all buffed up. Uh, let me get a Knight Valor going. Yes? 
There we go. Oh, shit. Okay, I think they're throwing grenades at us. God damn. Throw a chiroban over there. Um, you might want to get out of the way, Candorus. Oh, it's poison grenades. You bastards. What? How about that? Oh, shit, 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 shit. I am deflecting like a motherfucker right now. I love it. I think Candorus's uh, shields are already down. I don't know, though. Either way, Candorus, uh, let's get a power attack on him. Oh my god, poor, poor Karth. He's getting that adhesive grenade. If you could take him out, Karth, that would be great. All right, let's do this. Nice, that was good damage. I'm gonna get a night speed going, though. And let me heal everybody. What? Damn, Candorus is killing it, but I'm getting killed, too. I had to use an advanced med pack. I'm gonna try and keep healing. Oh god, that hurt! I'm using a life support. God damn, Candorus, what are you doing, man? What are you do You're just standing here, bro. Do something, please. Get him. Oh my god, Karth. Do you, are you able to kill them or what? I feel, I feel like they're like not doing anything or something. Okay, hold on. Attack him. Karth is like getting his ass whooped, boy. Trying my best to be the healer here. All right, real quick, let's take this one out. Oh shit, oh, I'm down. I'm fucking down. All right, we gotta pull out all the stops now to beat these last two. Holy shit. All right, let's focus on getting this one. Kandra still has his shields up, so I was like wrong about his shields going down easy. Uh... And Karth is down. Oh my god, they threw a grenade at him. Shit. It's up to Candorus, man. I mean, he could probably do it, but... We have one adhesive grenade. What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw it at him over there. Oh my god, Candorus just took a lot of damage. Life support. Alright. With the adhesive over there, that's gonna separate him. Now we just gotta lure them away. So we can fight them one at a time. Huh? Yeah, come on, buddy. Over here. Oh, all right. It's gonna take us out of combat. Well, that works. Throw in a Sonic. Nice. Come on. I believe in you, Candorus. Got him. All right, there's one more left, but he's kind of... Yeah, I knew it. I knew it, he's far out there, so we, we, yes. we uh, resurrected. Karth, you come over here. Alright, everybody, regroup, regroup. Alright, we gotta, we gotta heal oh, up. So, I'm gonna sit here, guys, and slowly heal us over time as my force comes back. It's gonna take a while, but I'll be back when we're all full health. Oh, man, Karth, we got our asses kicked, bro. Comad wasn't fucking kidding. You know, I love how the Banthas are just patiently standing here waiting for uh, the fight to conclude. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, yeah, let's finish this jerk off, shall we? What up, asshole? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, God. Yeah, get him, Candorus. Kill him, please. M just murder him. Let's get some power blasts in there, Carthy. That's right. Come on. Come on. Yeah, keep shooting at me. That's right. Good work. All right. No remains on these poor sacks of shit. They certainly were tough, though. Uh, that was that was no joke. Okay. Achuta, unga could be stolen. Achuta, unga could be stolen. Come talk to me. <laughs> Items. Oh, I guess we gave them the bantha fodder. Okay. Isn't that nice? We got to feed them at the end. All right, comad. So. Yeah, I guess let's do this. Quickly, be ready. The Banthas are in position and will soon stir our restless prey. I hope the mines do their job quickly. Alright, don't worry, I'm ready. Wait, what is that rumbling sound? Oh boy, here's a big one! Huh? That's a huge bitch! Run! It's Godzilla!
Yo, are those deadly frag mines, bro? Jesus Christmas! It is done, and the great beast is dead. To my shame, I denied him a final fight, but I will honor his memory to make amends. Yeah, and to his shame, you stuck 50 freaking frag mines up his asshole. I thank you for your aid, human. You have earned a share of the victory, such as it is. Share of the victory? Really? Well, uh... Thanks. We did what had to be done. Poor thing. Regrettably so. I just hope you remember there were higher reasons for this. Don't let the spoils be your only reason to hunt. Wealth fades, the sands remain. Hmm. I thank you for your help here today, human. I shall see you again, I am sure. Goodbye, comrade. It was revenge for Billy Bats. And a lot of other things. And that's that. The Great Dragon has been killed. Whatever might be hidden in the depths of its lair is now yours to claim. The hunt was successful and the Great Dragon is dead. Whatever might be hidden in the depths of its lair is now yours to yeah, the same thing. Okay, so did, did he just give me... Hold up, boys. He did! The Great Dragon Pearl! This thing's huge! That's what she said! <laughs> <laughs> Taken from the gullet of a crate dragon, this crystalline pearl appears to have refractory qualities that might allow it to function as a lightsaber crystal once properly adapted. I could put this goddamn thing in my lightsaber? I mean, I don't know how the hell it's gonna fit, but uh, we'll figure it out, I guess. <laughs> maybe, maybe we could shrink it or something. I, I don't know. Either way, uh, we did it, guys. We got the crate dragon pearl. I'm definitely gonna have to stick it in the lightsaber and see just how good it is. Hmm, but then again, Sand Chieftain wants it too. I don't know. Mm, oh, it's just like the rank war where you could destroy the remains if you want. It's like in your way, I guess, but... Oh, look at him, dude. Oh my god. Oh, <coughs> oh man. Oh, I can smell that dude in there. Oh my god. It's basically just an overgrown Komodo dragon. That's that's what crate dragons are. <laughs> Ooh, that instincts too. Oh Jesus. Well, here's the lair, guys. And uh is that it? Hold up. Shoot human corpse. Jedi master robe. Oh wow. Was this a Jedi? What was a Jedi doing way out here in the middle of nowhere? A crate dragon fucking lair, dude. What? All right, well, the Jedi Master Robe is definitely better than my Jedi Knight Robe. And as much as I love being in black, uh, I'm gonna take the stats over the looks, boys. Gotta do it. Mm. Ooh, a Violet Crystal. Yo, that's cool as hell. Holy shit, a Violet Crystal. Dude, we gonna be like Mace Windu up in this bitch. And an Ophelia Crystal? Hello? Hi, is Ophelia there? I'll feel you who? I'll feel you hiney. I'll feel my hiney. <laughs> okay. That, that's it. It's a star map. Holy shit, I recognize it from the one on Dantooine. Can you believe it, boys? The star map. That's one more piece of the puzzle. Anyone else get the feeling that finding this star map in the back of this great dragon's cave is... is more than just a coincidence? Now that we've got what we came for, we should probably move on. Can't say I'm gonna miss this pit of the world. <laughs> I'm with you, Candorous, honestly. You've discovered another ancient star map in the Dune Sea of Tatooine. As before, the map is incomplete, but each map you find fills in more missing pieces of the puzzle. Hopefully, once you find all the star maps, they will give you the location of the Star Forge. One step closer, guys. What's this? A tattered equipment pack. A holocron? This holocron has been cracked and worn by the sands and wind, but is still 
marginally operational when activated. It shows the holographic image of a middle-aged man and appears to have been used as a means to record his personal thoughts over many years. So yeah, remember this quest for Bastila's mom? Bastila was supposed to look for the holocron of, of her father, and it says it's likely near wherever Crate Dragons exist, because that's, yeah, that's what he was going to go do. He went, this is him! This is his holocron! He went to go hunt the Crate Dragon. Oh my god, we found Bastila's dad's holocron. No freaking body to be found, of course, but... Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. I cannot be Okay, well, we gotta go tell Basil, I guess, as soon as possible. But, uh... Let's get the hell out of here. A chewed Twi'lek corpse. A nerve amplifier belt. That's actually really good, because it gives you immunity to mind-affecting. Uh, that's fantastic. I'm going to equip that, guys. <laughs> it's ba You're basically immune to CC with immunity to mind affecting. It's it's huge in this game. A lot of people underestimate that status effect, but immunity to mind affecting is is great. It's just great. Oh yeah, great. Yeah, we already looted this. Okay, well, let's get the hell out of here. We got what we came for finally. And uh, who who's that way out there? Is that no? Callow Nord. But how? I have to give you credit. You've led me on quite a chase, but nobody gets away from Callow Nord in the end. I see you brought some backup, Callow. Realized we were a bit too much to handle on your own, huh? You got lucky on Terrace. The Sith attack saved you from a quick and gruesome death. But I promise you, the Sith won't be getting in my way this time. Oh my god, I can't believe he survived! You think you got lucky last time, Callow? Okay, let's do it again. Let's go, boys. It's showtime. <laughs> Get ready, men. <laughs> this is gonna be good. I can't believe Kalo survived that shit, dude. How did he survive? Doesn't matter. I'm equipping every freaking shield. Uh, we're, we're, we're going ham here, boys. Okay, let's show Kalo who the real top dog is now. Karth, I want you to start off by uh, throwing in some grenades there. Kyraban, a Sonic. And I think I'll throw in a concussion. We might knock him out. You never know. All right, but wait, what are we? What are we doing? Ooh, shake it! What's going on here? What? What the hell's going on here? He's got. Oh shit! He's got us in some kind of force field, guys. Oh shit! Okay, I don't know what just happened. I th I, th I think the dead body of the crate dragon might be glitching us out or something. I don't know. All right, let's come at him from this angle, guys. Hold on. <laughs> Ready. Dude, I don't know what is going on right now. Toss them in, boys! If only we had some frag fucking grenades, but oh well. Oh, a poison. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right. Let's fucking yeah. do this. Let's go! Look at that! Get in there, men. There we go. We deflected it right back at him. All right, Callow, you're fucking mine, bubby. Oh, look at that damage. Better keep my shield up at all fucking times here. We're gonna hit Kalo with a slow. There we go. Oh, that's a grenade. That that right there is a grenade. Oh, taking mad damage. Okay, we got a an advanced med pack going. Hey, Karth, you make yourself useful, throw in another concussion grenade, okay, Bubby? Uh, I, I appreciate it, homie. Oh, get him, Candorous. That's right. Karth, take care of this little Rodian in the back real quick. Uh -huh. We're gonna handle Kalo. Look at the yes, shield he's got on. Oh, my God. You all right, Can Okay, Candorous, it's time for a level up. The mid-battle level-ups are, are the way to go, guys, I'm telling you. Truly, they're the way to go. We're gonna up his strength. Uh, treat injury. Uh, what else you need? Improved power attack sounds nice. Okay, and let's, uh, let's use it. Yeah, let's use that new improved power attack. Ooh, he felt that one, Ganderous. This is it, Callow. This is for all the lives you've taken on Terrace. Nice shot, Candorous. Damn. That's it. Kalonord is no more. 2,000 credits! 
Three thermal detonators. Oh my god, look at all the shit he had on him. Oh hell yes! Another nerve amplifier belt too? Retinal combat implant? Verpine prototype shit? Oh, two, two uh, and Callow Nord's battle armor. Oh my god. Ooh. Okay, guys. All right. Well, wow. <laughs> this is um, this is something. This is something. I okay. Let's uh, let's get back to the Ebon Hawk. All right. Before we head back to anywhere else, let's just get back to the Ebon Hawk, and we we gotta regroup. This was something else. Huh. All right, guys. Well, Kalonord is no more. So is that like purely a vengeance thing with Kalo, or or did somebody else send him after us? At any rate, we got his armor, which is probably pretty good. Yeah, look at it. Defense bonus 9. Max dexterity is only plus 1. Resistances to uh, cold, fire, and sonic. And it's upgradable. Amazing. Amazing! Maybe I'll give that to Candorus. I mean, he did get the finish and blow on him. And he already has a low dexterity bonus, so... Mm. Or maybe I'll give it to Karth. I don't know. Either Karth or Candorus will probably get that. But, uh, at any rate, guys, I'm gonna cut it here. This was a pretty big episode. Kind of like the finale of the, of the Tatooine saga, honestly. But there is a little more to do, a little more bonus stuff. You know, I think we will, uh, take the Crate Dragon Pearl to the Sand People so we can learn their history and maybe find some kind of way to get, convince them to free Jet. I don't know. I am gonna stick it in the lightsaber, though, to see how good it is in the lightsaber. And then we'll also have to tell Basil that we found her father's holocron. That, that's kind of big, too. So we'll be doing that in the next one. But thank you so much for joining me, as always, guys, for another epic episode of Let's Play KOTAR. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as always, for more outstanding freaking Let's Plays. And until the next one, me and the crew will see you later. Peace out, Box Bros.